if you had uh, the health that you want to have, uh, whatever it may be you want to have, if you already had that right now, this given the moment watching this video right now, if you had that, what else would you want to do? I mean, what else would it be there for you to do? Um, and I think for me was, at that moment, you're going to be like, how can I give back? How can I help? How can I maybe mentor younger individuals? Maybe... What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? <laughs> um, I'm always saying what's up, guys, and I'm trying to change that up. It's a little bit of a uh, hard thing to do because I'm always saying what's up, guys, what's up, guys, and it is leaving out the females as well. So, everybody, what's going on, folks? I want to go ahead and jump on real quick, and um, I had another thought uh, for today, and I want to really go ahead and dive in on, you know. Everybody, everything that I see on Instagram, social media itself is about seeking, 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 attaining, 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 getting the most, you know, the most uh, followers, getting the most, um, I know myself, I started with that, being able to have influence, being able to create something impactful and, and all those, those things are great. Like, you know, you want to have the success, you want to have the wealth, you want to have all these things that I think everybody in life will, that, that is what we all want, like just to basically be happy, right? But what is the one thing um, that I think that at the end of the day we all um, makes us feel good and I don't think anybody has ever said otherwise and that is when we give back when we actually do and and give back um, if whether it be of our of our money of our time of our maybe anything you have any equipment that you might use that you don't use anymore you give somebody that might need it you might lend somebody your clothing or give it to them or or even your time you might spend some time with some some people that uh, maybe don't have anybody uh, maybe are, are, are in the last days of their lives you know these things that I think we overlook that are the most important to us and makes us feel a certain way like there's no way that you can there's nothing that could describe the feeling that I think we get when we um, give and give back. Um, this is coming from, I was reading one of the parts in the book by Dwayne Dyer, Wayne Dyer. Um, and he's in there mentioning how you want to think from the end in mind, right? Having the end in mind. And all the great books that you, if you read any entrepreneur, all the entrepreneurs watching or young people, all the great books you're going to read, um, especially uh, Stephen, Stephen, I forgot the last name, but The Seven Principles uh, and all these books that have been that are everybody's top books to read um, every year. Uh, they're all going to be saying that you know you want to think with the end, end in mind. And I think for me, the end in mind would be if you had everything that you wanted right now. If you had the success of whatever it is you want to start. Um, if you had the the wealth that you want to have. If you had the relationships that you want to have. If you had um, uh, the health that you want to have. Uh, whatever it may be that you want to have, if you already had that right now, this given the moment watching this video right now, if you had that, what else would you want to do? I mean, what else would it be there for you to do? Um, and I think for me was, at that moment, you're going to be like, how can I give back? How can I help? How can I maybe mentor younger individuals, give back to my community somehow? And and this comes from, from what I felt inspired was around my neighborhood where I'm living at right now at the moment. Um, been for a couple of years. And I've noticed, I like to take walks, and I've been taking more walks recently because now I have a dog. <laughs> and he likes to go off for a walk, which eventually walks me. And uh, it's kind of like I need it every day now. We get outside, I get some fresh air. I've noticed there's a lot of garbage sometimes, and like hanging around, like, you know, just a lot of, a lot of garbage, a lot of trash. And I think before I wouldn't really even worry about it, I wouldn't even think about it. But now as I get older, or oh, now that I've been realizing it, I'm like, man, I live here, and, and you know, obviously people are just throwing trash, not thinking about it, but it would be one thing for me to complain and to find out who can I contact, and to call the city department, and to call the, the neighborhood watch, whatever it may be, it's, it's a lot harder to me to do all that stuff. The most simplest thing for me to do, which I started thinking about, and this was inspired by Wayne Dyer, where he, he mentioned this. I started myself just picking up some trash that I, if I'm walking by and I, 
and I have the time, I'll pick up maybe a couple of bottles here and there, put them in a small bag and throw them in the main trash, or even take them, bring them to the house here and put them in our, our, our trash here, and trash and recycling in our house. So the problem is solved, right? Um, uh, I mean, I walked by there a couple of days after. It was still pretty clean. Um, obviously, it's going to be a, a repetitive thing, but people saw me picking it up. They're probably thinking, who the hell is this guy? Why the hell is he picking up trash? He's not getting paid for it. What is he doing? Um, and I felt that way too. Like people probably think about me, like, oh, this guy, this guy's weirdo. This guy's crazy. Why is he picking up trash in the streets? Um, but coming from a former jan, I used to pick up trash to get paid for. Right? I was a janitor. It does feel a certain way, but at the same time, when I changed the way I thought about it, in the sense of, I'm giving back to my community itself, keeping the park clean. I love parks. I grew up in parks. Um, and I still have a some type of affection for the parks. <laughs> um, I would say I love going to parks and just just hanging out in parks. It's something about open fresh air. Something about it that that I can't get in a city. Um, cities is great and all, but a park is I think where you go and you have your contemplation. Kids are free to run. You see the animals. You see nature. You see a lot of things that you wouldn't see in the city streets. So. I think parks are very sacred to me, so I think in order for me to do that, I was like, you know what, let me be part of the solution. So I, st I just, like I said, I, I'll go, I went the last couple of, uh, two weekends, and I just started on the side of the, the park I picked up, on the sidewalk here in the New York City streets, and being that there's so much people, the trash does get picked up, but it's not enough, because so much people live in here in this, in this small city of New York City that trash builds up, so... I think my my note for it, my message to here is that before we do all the things of accumulating all these things and, and working hard and and attacking the goals and 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 making the making it happen, I think we want to find first ask ourselves how can I give back, and maybe giving back might be your whoever's watching this maybe it might be you starting your own business um, helping others in something you already ex expert in or something you've already an expertise where you probably are you know been doing this for years and you might want to help others um, that is giving back and also just giving back some of your time you know go to your community and find out how you can help um, I know for me it was harder for me to go and find out who I can talk to in order to help I just started doing it myself things that I felt that were needed um, and that is something that you can do for free you don't have to pay anybody you just go and, and start chipping in and think about it, if everybody took five minutes of their time to just pick up some leftover trash from other individuals in, the, in your neighborhood, how much cleaner it would be and how much more of a, um, I think, uh, joy comes to you when you can walk around your neighborhood and everything is nice and clean. Uh, although it's not only about that, but it does give you a sense of belonging when you're part of something that you live at and it's nice and upkept, um, especially if you grow up in neighborhoods that it's, it's an underserved neighborhood. You want to go ahead and and make it look a lot more um, presentable to to the to the eyes where you want to walk around and you want to have that um, like joy of walking around if it's all trash and 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 not taken care of you're not gonna want to be outside for much long so um, I hope this guys makes you think differently makes you really really observe like about especially while you when you throw out trash in the streets think about what you're really doing and also the beginning of the year here in New Year start thinking about before everything before all the stuff that we want to go after think if you already had these things and how would you move how would you move after that so I think it changes the course of action for us if thinking that if everything we want to accomplish is already here we have it how would you move who would you be because they do say and this is from Wayne Dyer you get what you want you get who you are so think about that guys I'll see you guys next time peace